Hello and welcome back to my ridiculous candy shop. It's been a while. Today I'm going to show you how to make Twix. Homemade, DIY, super easy. What is a Twix? A Twix is a finger of milk chocolate covering shortbread and gooey, gooey caramel. First the shortbread. The shortbread needs to be rich and crumbly and for that reason we need lots of cold butter diced up and rubbed into two types of flour, plain flour and corn flour. Then stir through the sugar. Every Scottish person will tell you a pinch of salt in your shortbread is essential and we're going for a drop of vanilla too. Squeeze the whole thing into a dough and roll it out between two sheets of greaseproof paper. Roll it out to the thickness of about a pound coin, that's just less than a centimetre thick. Before you try and cut this, chill it in the fridge for at least half an hour. That way you can get nice, fine fingers. You'll also want to make a nice, rich caramel and that will need to cool. So next up, place the sugar, the liquid glucose, the butter, the dolce leche and a pinch of salt into a saucepan and heat it to a bubble. You'll want it to go to 112 degrees Celsius, that's pretty precise, you'll need one of these. When your gorgeous caramel has reached 112 degrees Celsius, take it off the heat and you don't want to work with it when it's hot, so leave it to cool to room temperature. Typically Twix is milk chocolate and ideally we want to temper it to get a decent shine. So in a pan over boiling water or in a microwave, melt your chocolate until it reaches 46 degrees Celsius. Take the chocolate off the heat just before it all melts because the residual heat will get rid of the lumps. You just want anything that's just above 46 degrees Celsius. Then cool the whole bowl down to 26 degrees Celsius. Do that in a larger bowl of ice cold water. A couple of things to watch for, don't let the water get into the chocolate, the whole thing will seize up. Make sure all your utensils are dry, and although it's in a bowl of ice cold water, don't let the ice cold water get in to it. And then finally, when you've hit 26, take it back up to 30 degrees Celsius, because this is milk chocolate, and then it'll be tempered and ready to use. The chocolate has gone up, it's come back down, it's gone back up again and now it's tempered and ready to use. So we're going to make our Twix fingers. We're going to do it in moulds. Now everyone knows the left finger and the right finger are made in different factories, so we have one for the left and one for the right. Line them both with milk chocolate and let the excess dribble out. Now, the shortbread that was chilling in the fridge can come out and the chocolate shells can go back in. Your set shortbread now needs to be cut into fingers. Fingers that will fit inside of your mould, even when you've got chocolate up both sides. Place those onto a baking tray lined with greaseproof paper and bake them at 150 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. They shouldn't gain too much colour. After baking and cooling, your shortbread fingers might need a little bit of trimming. Do that on a flat surface with a serrated knife. And those crumbs in the candy shop, we use those to sprinkle on ice cream. All that's left to do is construct our fingers. We have the shells, the chocolate is set. Next up, caramel, then shortbread, then a layer of more tempered chocolate to seal it all in. Then it will need to chill up before you pop them out. Once they're all set up, your temper should give it a beautiful shine. Leave it at that if you like. If you want the authentic ripple that you get from a Twix finger, then fill a piping bag with a little bit of milk chocolate and give it a squiggle. Then they're good to taste. Should I get my favourite Oompa Loompa in to try them? Shh, don't tell the others. Just look at this one. Oh. That's the Twix goo. Tastes like a Twix. Very short shortbread, salty, stringy, gooey caramel, and milk chocolate. That's it. You made these for a friend, and I'm impressed. So you should make them for your friends. 
and they will be impressed. So the only thing with homemade Twix is that it does take a while to temper the chocolate and to get it right. It's a few stages, it's pretty simple, mm -hmm. but if you want to give them a go, the full recipe is on sortedfood.com. And if you want an easier chocolate recipe, come back tomorrow, I'll take off the hat, and we'll do chocolate fondant in 15 minutes. Oh, I thought you were gonna say it's under here. This is what we're making tomorrow, but you... Ta-da! You can fix that in post, right? Click on the left if you missed our last video, or click on the right video for one of our favorites.